Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Rochelle, it's lovely to have you here. If you are new, you may not know, I'm a mum of two boys and we share our family travel adventures in our daily life. Um, I am going to be doing Vader, which is vlog every day in August, just to learn a few new video techniques. We went to Coles and it is just been plastic free July, so I wanted to do a little cover off of um, my thoughts about the Coles minis, considering plastic free July. They are very controversial, and in this house we do actually use them, we do collect them, even though they're controversial and they're kind of like bad for the environment. And I'm going to talk to you about why, but first of all I'm going to show you what I got at Coles, um, and I've got lots of stuff that's got to go in the freezer, so I'm going to run through that all quickly now with you. I got a kilo of chicken breast. Yeah, I got these breast schnitzels. Um, they were marked down, so we're going to have burgers tonight. I got these corn pieces. These are really great in stir fries and stuff like that. They're really yummy. Um, I got macaroni and cheese bites. These were in... I went to a different Coles, so they... My Coles doesn't have them, but I... Um, you know, they had a whole different section of like ready to go meals, so I thought they might be nice. Um, I got four packets of our favorite dog food. We like this one, it's like balls of, yeah, whatever, one, two, three, four. Um, beetroot and black bean burgers, um, just to go with these, see how we go. I got these run offer. I normally do my own bananas when my bananas are going a bit old. I'll chop them up and put them in the freezer, but these were on special. And I'm going to be making blueberry and white chocolate muffins. So these were like two, four, six bucks or something. So I just grabbed them. I know, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta go with what's easy. Two liters of milk, a carton of pure cream. I use this um, with prawn pasta. Um, Curtis Stone has this new mince with like flavoring in it. So I just wanted to give it a try. I thought I might make some dumplings maybe. Fresh pasta for my prawn pasta, um, fresh linguine. Um, then I got some ham from the deli, natural smoked leg ham. And then another, um, oops, upside down, continental platter. I get these for making pizzas with because it's got three different kinds of meat. So it's only the one packet. That's kind of like a little hack, I guess, I suppose. Um, and then this three cheese blend, we use this for everything, for making wraps, for making pizzas, for on top of pasta and stuff like that. I like this one with mozzarella, colby and parmesan. Then I also got some chicken goujons because these were half price and I always grab a packet whenever they're half price. They're like normally $16. They are a kilo um, and the kids love these and so does Rolly. He sometimes has these on a wrap as like a chicken wrap instead of going to Macca's. Um, then I got our favorite butter. I like the slightly salted. I don't know. Um, and then the Yarra Valley cheese. Persian feta. I got onto this when I was in Adelaide. My brother, my brother, my sister-in-law told me about it and she had like a kilo pot and we got through it, almost all of it. So I thought, yeah, this on some crackers is really yummy. Just like, you know, getting dinner ready kind of time. So that's what I got in the cold section. So for a packet like this, what you can do is actually the, see the top bit, you can peel that off and put that in your soft plastics recycling and then this part has got a recycling symbol on it so you can recycle the whole thing if you want to some of these crates will be compostable at some point or by i'm not sure if they're biodegradable or whether they're going to be like a um like a papery kind of thing <laughs> what are you doing getting chocolate milk Chocolate milk, <laughs> chocolate milk, please. Okay, you can have one. Hang on a minute. As you guys know, I sometimes shop at the markets for my fruit and veggies or a fruit shop that's nearby, near my other coals that I normally go to called Spuds and Plums. But um, I didn't do either of those things this weekend. Um, so I did grab a few things just to make the next couple of dinners. And then probably on Tuesday, I'll get to go to my usual fruit shop. So this is what I got. I got some bananas, uh, broccoli, because we have broccoli almost every night, potatoes, two avocados, an onion, some mandarines, some red delicious apples, a punnet of strawberries, and some sugar snap peas. Yeah, so that's all I got for the fruit and veggie section. And this is what else I got. So I had to try these. These are mainly for me and Rolly for a little like nighttime mm -hmm. snack. Um, crispy honeycomb, they sound amazing. These little mini wraps, these are great for like lunches and stuff. I got some self-raising flour for the muffins we're going to make later. Some tea. 
This company, Majira, it's actually made, I think their farm is on the northern New South Wales. And they, I'm pretty sure on their website somewhere, um, they don't use any plastic. Like their tea bags are biodegradable. So you can just chuck the whole tea bag in. Um, it's, yeah, all paper, like organic materials. There's no plastic. I've got some Turkish rolls for our burgers tonight. Um, these are my favorite. I love fancies. So I grabbed those. Um, and these are in the uni unicorn flavor. Can't wait to try them. I've been enjoying these. These are another recommendation. These have got like the little spice kits. So I got some Swiss muesli. Um, I got some thick noodles. I got these were on offer. So I got baking chips in milk and white. I got some sustainably fished tuna cans. Big bricky browns. These are like the giantest eggs. And I'm pretty sure they're free range as well. Yeah, they are. They're so big. So, um, and these are amazing. These are like $6 a packet, but they are so good. So I grabbed those. Our usual digestives, some rock salt for my salt shaker. Um, tissues, rice bubbles. I'm going to actually do this. You can win a Crayola pack if you colour that in. Um, tushies, these are my favourite wipes and they come in a value pack. So they're normally like $6 a thing but I, or $5 a thing. But this is $16. Bucks. You use like, say, $5. Pasta in a box. How good's that? Nurofen and Panadol because if you're over 30, they are like a staple <laughs> in your shopping. Pretzels, a giant bag of pretzels because we love pretzels and hummus. These are Rollies, salt and vinegar snacks. And as you've seen, the Messy Monkeys. These were Max's special treat, weren't they? They were his. Messy Monkey Chicken! I love chocolate Messy Monkey Milk! Chocolate! <laughs> chocolate Messy Monkey Milk. Not sustainable or plastic free in any stretch of the imagination, but that's what he asked for. That was his one thing that he got. So, fair enough. So, what else have we got up here? Um, yeah, so box of tissues because it's winter and we always have tissues. Jalapenos from Rolly has those on his when we make homemade pizza. These were half price, so I just grabbed one because I usually get like a flat white, like while I'm out and about. Um, but we have people that come over that drink coffee, and I thought this might be a nice thing to try. This was nine, eighteen dollars down to nine. <laughs> so I just thought I'd try it to ten. Like it's, you know, this is yummy mum sauce, you know, and it's good. And then these were some uh, limited edition tomato and sriracha. We need a tomato sauce and Texan smoky. I love mustard. We're also having a bit of a magazine moment in our house. I got this one, Atlas of the World of World War II. Um, I'm a bit of a, I do love a good war like history thing that and then the Audrey Day book which is great look how beautiful this magazine is it's got um puzzles and stories and just um it's puzzles. yeah just my kind of magazine I like to you know at night time I'll sit and read that that'll be nice yeah so I've actually these are from the other day like I've got this one and then the Hamptons because this is like um, in the magazines and then I did get the Coles truck which is a great segue. <laughs> Coles truck. Yeah, which is actually a great segue into my little justification. I realise like there's quite a lot of packet food here and the one thing that I have figured out with Plastic Free July is that I really need to make a lot more of an effort. There are some products like the pasta that you can get in boxes and there are a few switches you can make. I mean, I don't always buy this kind of thing, but there's plenty of stuff that comes in like a soft plastic and I do do my soft soft plastic recycling I'm really strict with myself on that but I realized that a lot of the stuff that I've bought has come in that kind of packaging and I don't really want to get complacent and just think oh well I'm just going to recycle it because obviously recycling what you need to do is reduce in the first place I mean it's good to recycle but it's not like it shouldn't just be a fallback I guess I don't know am I putting too much pressure on myself to be more uh, reducing our waste or am I doing a good enough job I don't know but the one thing I do know is with the Coles Minis, there is a huge controversy because obviously they're like single-use plastic and there's so many of them getting around and people just like throw them away and they're really, um, you know, I don't know, just they're controversial from an environmental perspective. 
Um, but here is my take on it. We play with them, so that's why I collect them and that's why I'm okay with them. Um, I make sure to soft plastics recycle the packaging that it comes in. And we still have our first original set of minis and all the spares because we have a little cafe and a shop like um and a kitchen sort of set up max has got his little coffee machine and toaster and a cash register and we play that a lot we've got lots of wooden um, food toys and everything like that so for me cole's minis make sense because it adds to our collection of the existing toys for example um we don't collect ushies we don't collect um kinder surprise toys or anything like that which are just as bad if not worse because they break easily um but we don't collect those because we don't play with them they to us that's kind of pointless so whether it's a free collectible that you get with your grocery shopping or if it's a toy that you're wasting money on like those games that you can get that only work like one or two times and then the pieces break or whatever or you lose all the bits it's the same thing to me so i don't buy things or collect things that we don't use and it's as simple as that we love playing with the coles mini so i don't feel guilty about it um and I know that I can be responsible and make sure that it ends up in the right place when we are finished using it. And I think that's the big difference. And I think that's where, like, the controversial side of it is, like, understand that um, Coles, like, they don't have to make that. And that. It is a marketing thing and it is just, like, creating waste for the sake of it. But at the same time, if you don't want it, don't buy it. Or you can say no. You can say, no, I'm not collecting them. You don't have to take them. If, you know, like anything. Um, so, yes, Coles does have a, a social responsibility to keep their waste down. Um, but we have a personal responsibility as well. So, that's how I sort of view it. Like, um, if you want to see companies not doing something, then say no to that. and Don't buy it. You know, money talks. And if people aren't buying or using their products or services, then they either go out of business or they change their product mix or whatever. Like... Um, anyway, so that's my thoughts on that. I, um, you know, we can all do better. I definitely know that I'm aware that I can do better. There are a lot of things I'm trying to do. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm trying to be lost a lot less impulse buying. And to be honest, there are a few things that I did impulse buy, like the Curtis Stone, like mints with flavoring in it eight dollars for half a kilo i mean we're all trying to do our best and i think that if you don't feel guilty if you got if your family loves the coles minis and you play with them collect them just make sure that you do the right thing with them when you're not using them anymore i know that uh, my friend um from that time nigella i'll leave the video link down below if i can find it she did a great video of all the different ways that they play with the coles minis and she grows like she grows her own fruit and veggies and she's really into like green living so um you know i'm taking an example from her i'm really sorry max is obviously loving the cold truck so he's getting he's getting it's getting hectic so i'm gonna get going but i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> thanks so much for watching it's been my pleasure and i will see you in the next one bye guys well, what do you think it is chocolate chip cookies oh yeah up here it does there. Oh, there it is. All right, what's next? Oh, you bit allowed to be a bit. <gasps> what is it? Bread. Oh. Loaf of bread. It does here. <coughs> Isn't that a good one? Hey, Lewis. Can you sit on your bottom, please, Maxie? This one. Oh, it's going to be the bits. It's going to be the mints. Is it? Oh, it's one you don't have. Dynamo. 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 Oh, that's a Egg okay. yogurt. Oh, all right, what's next? This one. Okay, what's oh. it gonna be? <gasps> dog food? Yeah, dog food. 